guys, it's Andy Jeff here, and today we are replacing a basket strainer in a kitchen sink. So, I am actually replacing a garbage disposal. I'm taking a garbage disposal all the way out, and I'll show you how to do that. And then I'm also going to replace it with a basket strainer, so basically taking the garbage disposal out. So follow along for that. I'm going to use some footage from removing the garbage disposal. I've done a separate video on that. And then I will show you how to put the basket strainer after you've got a free space in your sink back in. Or if you have a, a basket strainer that's leaking at your house, you can just remove it doing the opposite method of what I'm doing to, you know, show you how it goes on and replace it. And then just put your piping back on and you'll be good to go. So anyway, all you really need is a screwdriver, okay? Cause we're taking this drain line off. Make sure you unplug the dang thing so you don't go zappy zap. Nobody wants to go zappy zap. But anyway, uh, we're gonna have one of these. And you just, really all you gotta do is unscrew this and remove it if you wanna keep your garbage disposal. But this is handy, Jeff. So we're just gonna take that off like that. And then you take your screwdriver and you see these tabs up here. All you gotta do, push it in there and get her to twist. Actually, that's probably a bad one. You can pick a different tab and go down here. Boom, and we're done. So anyway, in true Handy Jeff fashion, I completely forgot to hit the record button, so we have to re-record this. I had to put it back together. We gotta take this out, take this off. So all you need is a screwdriver, get in here, and loosen all these up. Once they're loose, bring them down, bring them all the way down, and then you push this up like so, everything, and you'll see this little snap ring thing here. I hope you can see that. Let me just zoom in for you here. In fact, I will take you up there to it. There is the snap ring right there and that's what actually holds everything on so let me bring you back down here get you set up and all we got to do is take our screwdriver grab a hold of that snap ring well first you can find where where it's opened up at so right here there is a little piece pull that snap ring down Go ahead, get the thing all the way off here. Everything falls down, and then this, it goes straight out of the sink, as you can tell. Okay, we're back, We've got the new basket strainer. As you can see, this is what it looks like. I like to use the ones that have the smaller nut on them, so you can tighten them with just a normal pair of channel locks. Take that off, we don't need it. Take this off because it goes down below in the bottom of the kitchen sink there. Take all this stuff off. This is the only part we need up top. Everything else can go down in the bottom of the kitchen cabinet. Now we are going to roll ourselves up a Palmer's Putty Snake to go all the way around in this this basket strainer here. This makes you feel like you're a little kid playing with Play-Doh again, because Plumber's Putty has about the same consistency as Play-Doh. Go all the way around. Break off the little extra that you're gonna have. And there's going to be a ton extra because I use way too much plumber's putty. But then what I'm doing is I'm pushing it down so that it's going to start the seal. Here. And then we just set it straight down in there. And I like to give it a little, little push. Try to get it into the center. And try to get that plumber's putty to grab a hole so that it won't move. 
Perfect, just like that. Now we're going back down below in the kitchen sink. Okay guys, it's Hayden Jeff here and I'm gonna have a little heart to heart with you. If you would just subscribe, please, for the YouTube algorithm and hit that thumbs up button, then I might not have to keep working three jobs, which is what I do right now. And I would be able to make videos like this for you guys over and over and over again. Right now I'm at about 205 subs and I'm hoping I gotta get to a thousand before I make a dollar off of this, a dime, whatever. So please, please just like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm if you like content like this. Please, it would make my day. I would appreciate you. Comment down below when you subscribed. I'll even respond to you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're down here now. And remember this particular basket strainer, they're all a little different, but this one came with an one small flappy rubber, a rubber, a thicker rubber, and then your friction washer, which is just made of paper, and then the nut. And that's the exact way that it goes on. So as you can see, here's some of that plumber's putty that we have. And we actually might have too much, but we're gonna go ahead and put this on here anyway. For now, Honestly, this friction, this little guy's just gonna go bye-bye. We don't even need it. Most of them don't have that. Okay, so you start, you put all those on in that order. And you screw your nut on. Everybody loves screwing their nut on, right? Anyway, this is a rigid sink tool. And man, it is a lifesaver. It's got all these different attachments, and we'll go over this in another video. But the most important attachment for right now is this little guy. And it is a sink wrench. As long as it will hold in there, just like that. And that way you can keep, you can tighten this nut with a pair of channel locks and hold back up with this so that it doesn't start spinning your actual basket strainer. So let's get these set up so that they'll fit over this nut here. Just like that. We'll shove that in there and then use both at the same time. And make sure that you're actually on the nut when you're tightening this because it is very easy to slip off and try to spin the whole basket straight. Like I've done a couple times already. It's especially awkward when you're down in here and have a camera literally right next to you. And you're used to not being in so close to something when you're working on a sink. Alright, so once you get her snugged up, which can take little while here just got to find a, a method that works for you so you can hold back up and tighten the basket strainer at the same time just like that Nice and tight. I'm gonna give her, a, she's pretty snug on there. Make sure it doesn't spin too easily anyway. All this is doing is just holding, so it's okay if that spins. But give her a snug, snug tug, and she's good to go. Okay, so if you are watching this video and essentially all you came for was how to replace that bad boy right there, you're done. Then you would just replace and connect back to your drain. Handy Jeff out.